Wildlife Action Center headquarters in uh, beautiful Ackworth, Georgia. Um, this is uh, some kind of a state park, I think. I'm not sure. We'll have to get the uh, inside scoop later. Um, but we've got kids coming over from uh, ooh, some kind of elementary school somewhere. What's it called? Cross Creek? Walker Creek? This is Kellogg Creek that we're at. They're coming from Clark Creek Elementary School. And this is very much like a like a hunting lodge almost, very much like a, like a little campground here. Yeah, so it's foggy, it's cool, lonely soil, scent of the air, dead leaves. It's nice. I'm gonna get into the dirt. Okay. Get a hand? Reptiles differ from, say, mammals. Yes, sir. Well, I would say if it's a reptile, it's going to just be cold blood. It's not going to be warm blood. So cold blood means, of course, they get their uh, their heat from outside sources. If we get cold, we can shiver, warm ourselves up. If we get hot, we can sweat and cool ourselves down. Reptiles can't do that. So if a snake wants to get warm, it has to find a warm spot. If it wants to get cool, it has to find a cool spot. All right. So cold blooded. That's one. What's another thing? Yes, ma'am. Right, they lay eggs, it's called oviparous. Now some snakes have eggs that will hatch inside their bodies so the babies will come out alive, but there are eggs, right? So they lay eggs, they're cold-blooded. Uh, yes, sir? Uh, um, they have scales. They have scales, good, scales on the body. That differentiates them from amphibians. Amphibians are also cold-blooded lay eggs, but they have what's called permeable skin, as in, as in things can pass through your skin, uh, which is why if there's any pollutants in the water, you don't see a whole lot of frogs or salamanders. So there's, uh, there's amphibians where the reptiles have scales. All right, there's one more thing. Yes, sir? Fishing, just our native um, animals and plant species, 
and just really partnering with our local schools to get the kids out here and enjoy a field trip outdoors and learning just things that they may encounter in their yards and locally. We like to educate them on water safety and just doing their part in their community and in the environment. So we always are welcoming to anybody who wants to join us who is interested in any way in reaching out to the community and the kids. Really, we just like to have fun and be outdoors. <laughs> so, uh, so, Mr. Jimmer, could you uh, tell us a bit about your role um, in Georgia Wildlife? I am the Senior VP of Education. So, two years ago, I stepped into that position and started getting in contact with our local schools about bringing the kids out here. We have we have probably six or seven elementary schools that were it were are within a couple of miles from our location. So um, getting them on the bus and getting them here is wonderful. It's a short trip, and then they get out of the school and get on property and get to run around and experience a lot of different things. So that's a, a, what we do with the George Reptile Society. Is, you know, we, we learn a lot about you know through textbook and through video. But we always thought that that sort of um, actual physical interaction is really important when it comes to uh, uh, to, to education. So um, do, so you have the um, the elementary schools and the other schools coming through. What other programs do you have? Um, you mentioned hunting. Mm -hmm. programs. Our hunting division. Um, we're actually in hunting season, so our hunting division is getting ready to start organization on their youth hunt and their handicap hunt. So every year we do a handicap and youth hunt, and we partner with the Corps of Engineers for planting food plots and then um, teaching the kids how to work their bows and um, just being their sportsmanship. We just work on developing their sportsmanship and that's um, on many different levels as far as how, why we hunt and um, what's good for um, the ecosystem. Thank you. We love our hunters and, um, and then there's also teaching them the rules that the core uh, wants them to follow when they are hunting. So, opportunity to do all kinds of teaching. And there's our students now. Before, before the kids come in, where can we find the Georgia Wildlife online? All right, if you will check us out on, online at wildlifeactiongeorgia.com. On Facebook, you can follow us at Wildlife Action of Georgia. And we post our current events and um, upcoming whatever's upcoming for the year. So right. yeah, check us out. And thank Thanks. you and we thank you for coming. All right. <laughs>